So it's that time again, guys. Avid Pro Tools 2020.9 has been released. Now, here's the thing. In this version of Pro Tools, in this update, we actually have some new features and we also have a lot of bug fixes. Now, I haven't installed this yet. I'm working on some projects, mixing a couple of things. So let's scroll down. One of the things right away that you're going to notice is this right here. Ableton link support. If you have an Ableton system on the other side of the room, you can lock both systems together. Now, that's what I'm getting from reading this. Record, stop, rewind. Something you could do with two Pro Tools system, you can lock them together with Ableton and Pro Tools, which is pretty cool. And we also have this option here, new option for canceling track, record, enable. So how many of you guys remember SD2? Well, now when you import a session, it's automatically going to convert that over, which I guess before it did not. And then in this section, good news for Pro Tools users who have WAV files larger than four gigabytes. With Pro Tools 2020.9, there is now support for linking and playing both RF64 and BF64 audio files. It's all about the four gig limitation. I kind of thought we were kind of over all of that. How many of you guys remember FAT32? There definitely was a limitation on how much you could put inside a certain folder. So if we read here, it says the Avid Link menu opens Avid Link functionality right inside of Pro Tools instead of the standalone application. I don't really use any of that stuff, honestly. So. so now if we scroll down, we got some automation, cloud collaboration, freezes, control surface, uh, crashes and errors, uh, Adobe Atmos workflow, editing, etc. And it just keeps on going. Now, like always, guys, if you go to your Avid account, download this. If you're working on any project, image your drive. If you aren't working on anything, image your drive. The last thing you want to do is install this and your system just stops functioning properly. It's happened to me before. I upgrade, Pro Tools just dies. It just doesn't want to open, constantly crashing. Got to delete the preferences. And sometimes that doesn't even work. A full on install and it still doesn't work. So imaging is the key here. You want to image a drive regardless if you're using Windows, Mac. I was going to say Linux, but it's such a shame that Pro Tools doesn't run on Linux. But that's a whole conversation for another day. But I really hope you got something out of this video. Check the description. It's going to link you to the Pro Tools expert site. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.